Hello friends, this is Vikram and today I'm going to tell how we can create a free trial account in Databricks for the purpose of learning PySpark and related things. So what do you need to do? First, you need to decide which account on the Databricks you are going to create and how you will be creating that I'll be showing into this video. Till then, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for the latest video on Databricks and data engineering side. What do you need to do? There is a community edition for the Databricks. And for that, I will be sharing you the link. So what you can do, you can follow the link uh, from the description and directly open uh, this. Uh, so no need to search for the Google and other things. So this is the community edition account for the Databricks. And if you are already having an account, you can make use of directly uh, giving the email ID and password over here. Else, what you can do, you can create a, a new Databricks account by clicking on this sign up. So for your uh, uh, non wasting of time, I have simply opened the same link into the next tab. And this is the website uh, URL which you, you are seeing at my screen, which is talking for the Databricks free trial account. And there are a possibility that if you are simply using the normal Databricks free trial account, it will be created for the 14 days and it will be connected with your AWS, Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud account. So anyhow, that is the second thing. First thing, what we need to do, we need to fill this page over here. Please tell us about yourself so you can create with an appropriate name and make use of this data age. You can choose uh, the convenient name according to, uh, to you. And you can see over here, what it is saying in the company URL. So what you can do, uh, let me try with the Gmail and see whether it is allowing or, uh, to create or not. Okay, so how we can uh, make use of the Gmail? So simply I'm giving one Gmail URL to check uh, whether it is accepting the Gmail or not. Phone number is optional over here. And if there is a button, get it started for free. Just simply click on this button. If it will be accepting your Gmail account, account will be getting created. Otherwise, you will get this uh, some error. But you can see now the account is redirected now and choose a cloud provider. So which cloud provider you want to make use of for this one? So whether you are going to make use of the Microsoft Azure, whether you are going to make use of the Google Cloud or whether you are going to make use of the AWS. So you can select any one of the mentioned three that totally depends upon you. And if you have already uh, uh, account in this cloud, you can directly select and uh, link it. If you don't have the account, you can see here, don't have a cloud account. So community edition is a limited database environment for personal use and training. So what you can do, you can come over here, get started with the community edition. Now you can see uh, if I don't uh, have the existing cloud URL uh, account, then I have selected on the community edition. And that community edition is what the actual difference. So community edition is simply the for learning purpose. So it will be the limited resource. Over there, there will be no poker. And if you click on that one, after it will ask you one verification. And once you did the verification, uh, this page will be redirected over here. And you can see, it's time to check your email. So what email uh, you have given, email ID you have given, just open that email ID and it will be finding one email, the welcome email from the Databricks, okay? So that uh, either you can open over here or you can just uh, open into your mobile as well, there is no issue. 
so in my case, I am just checking my uh, email verification into my mobile itself. You can open it over here also. Okay. But uh, if you are checking into the mobile, it will be the like the not the good way uh, because it will ask you to reset the password. Another thing. So now you can. Now you can see this was the email which was sent from the database and it is saying to verify the email address. What you can do, you can simply click on this link. It will open one page for the database account and there what you have to do, you have to enter the new password. So that password and new uh, confirmation password will be done over here. And once it is done, what you have to do, you have to open the login page for this and then you have to log in with the new username. Uh, that is for email and then the password. So set up one password over here. Okay. Click on this reset password. It will take a few seconds to your password to be reset. Now you can see once you successfully uh, reset the password, it will be uh, take you to the login and uh, account of your Databricks. And here it is saying because it is a community edition, so it is asking to upgrade us. So right now you don't need to upgrade it. Simply you can cross this one. Okay. Once you cross this one, you can see on the left hand side it is saying uh, data science and engineering, create database recent and other lot of the settings and other things with, with your account over here. Okay, so what you need to do now? Okay, and how to get started? So if you are totally new to this database, what you can do, you can follow this quick start tutorial over here. It will, uh, by clicking on this one, it will take you to the tutorial site. So what we were uh, doing, uh, so we were uh, trying to create the new uh, notebook. So depends upon your requirement, you can give the notebook name. So whatever the name you wish, uh, you can give it. Uh, I'll try to give the name as the data engineering using PySpa. You can give any meaningful name according to your choice. Okay, that is no hard and fast rule to give uh, any specific name over here. And it is saying the default language as the Python. So we will try to leave this as the Python Excel. Now it is asking over here the cluster. So it will ask you to select a cluster, but you can see here we don't have any cluster yet. So what you can do, you need to first create one cluster and then you to assign over here. So that assigning the cluster box can be done later on as well. What you can do, you can simply click on this create. And you need to see something is getting created for you or not. Now you can see it is saying uh, data engineering using PySpar, using the language of the Python, it is created. Um, but the state you can see over here as the detached. It means there is no cluster is linked to it. So how you can link it? So if you click on this one, uh, it will ask you to create the cluster if you don't have any cluster. If you have the cl uh, cluster, then you can directly uh, pick it from the drop down. 
Now, if you wish, you can click on this one, create a cluster, and it will redirect over here to create the cluster. So, what cluster name you can give? So, it's totally your choice. By Spark tutorial, or you can give any meaningful name, and then it will ask you Databricks runtime version. So, I'm leaving this is the blank. You can change it based on your requirement, but I'm leaving this as a blank. It uh, means the default one itself. So here, Scala version is 2.12 and Spark is 3.12. Instances, it is saying the 315 GP of the memory will be assigned for your community edition cluster. Okay. And there are certain messages as well that your cluster will be automatically terminated after an idle period of two hours. Means if you are not using this cluster for the two hours time, and if it is the idle, then it will be automatically terminated. Okay, so leave all the things as it is. Now it is asking the last point, the instance. For that, you need to change the availability zone. So based on the zone, what the location you are uh, there, you need to select the zone. So what you can do, you can left this at the auto. It means that it will be auto picked up by the Databricks itself. Now, if you see over here, Spark, Okay, so as part configurations, uh, we can leave this as a blank as of now. Okay, um, blank means uh, how it is there. You can leave it the default one. And so here you can see zero worker will be created, zero GB memory will be used because it is a community edition account. It will be always the one driver, no worker will be created. And it is saying one driver with the 15.3 GB memory with the two core and one TB is getting created. So what you can do, you can simply click on this create cluster for learning purpose and for community purpose uh, community edition is the best option okay once you have some confidence if you gain some confidence on by uh, databricks practices then you can create uh by the enterprise version with the fully Edge version, not the community edition. That again, the different choice. So it is taking few seconds to get it created. So I'm pausing my video for a. So hi, you can see now the cluster by Spark tutorial is now created. Okay. So what do you need to do? You need to simply make use of this. So how you can be able to make use of this one? And what is the different way to make use of this one? So what you will do next? You need to open the notebook and other things, right? So before uh, proceeding further, let me have a quick revision over here that what we have did. So I think it's very uh, pretty simple. So I'm simply showing you the pages where from where you can be able to uh, see. There will be no limitations on this one that we have to do this particular work only. Okay. And if you will just see over here, the con uh, com configuration notebooks then libraries so if you want to make use of the third party libraries you can directly uh click from this one event log and once you are you can see currently it is saying the driver is healthy cluster is running and everything is details you can be able to find it from here if your application uh, is having the by spark application a spark application then that time it uh you can visualize it from the spark ui so currently it's uh we don't have anything so because of that only it is saying the blank kind of the thing then driver log then matrices then what are the different applications you are running that details will be shown over here and it is a basic uh, spark cluster ui master so all the things is pretty simple and here you don't need to uh focus more on this one uh, to understand this, uh, this because when you start uh, working on this one you will be automatically uh, habituated and uh, you will be able to get the things done okay so before closing this video what i'll be doing i'll be showing you uh, how you can be able to make use of uh, a basic uh, example over here okay so how we can start writing on this one what is the way so if you try to explore the things like create notebook table cluster so if you click on this uh cluster notebook and data 
engineering engine by spa okay so this is the name and the language cluster is by default picked up over here click on the create and you can see uh now this notebook is uh, accessible uh because you are able to see the sales and it is now not showing the details it is showing it with the cluster details over here okay so what kind of the applications you are going to write that is again dependent uh depends upon you so what you can do if, if you want to write the simply as spark sql so what you have to do you have to write the syntax like this one okay so and what uh how you are going to run this one and how to verify whether what you have typed written is uh executing or not right so you need to just verify the things so what is the next step so simply what you have to do you have to simply add the red percent uh that is the percentile sql and you can write the query sql query over here so what you can do you can write the simple query create database and the name of the database so what you what the database you want to create you can give the name over here uh so i can give the name like the this one okay create database my db you can give your uh name according to your choice and there is the option that you can it is saying shift plus enter to run this query or you can see over here it is the play button by which you can be able to uh run it and you can see it is the same showing you the run sale and as we have selected the percentile sql so it is saying the sql query and if you drop down this one you have the multiple options so that you can be trying to export from your side what we are going to do first we will try to run this one sale okay now you can say see over here the command uh, is successfully run because we are seeing this message okay okay now if it is running where you can be able to see this my db so there these are the menus from where you can be able to see and you can see uh, on the data and by default it will provide you the default uh, db but if you select uh, and execute the query from the sale this db is getting created over it okay and it is currently having no table so it is saying no table so you have the facility that you can be able to create a table from here as well or what you can do simply you can go back to this one and try to uh, make use of this db and then you can further create the tables and other sql commands so this is the basic versions of uh, like setting up the community edition of the data based account and we are going to focus more on the data engineering so our first video is uh, this one and next video will be starting with the basics of the spark then we will jump into the pi spark and later on we are seeing the uh, sql with the spark that is the spark sql along with the spark streaming and other details over here so for such videos please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you thank you everyone uh,